Hello, YouTubers. This is Jedi Fight Bad, and we are back. Uh, the door is completely ready except for the programming and the uh, green loomer lights or the lamp, the green lamp. <clears throat> so we need to make that, but we need to find some uh, cactus first. And I haven't seen a desert anywhere, so we're going to have to go searching. But first, I wanted to show you uh, this crafting recipe right here. Whoops. Um, what this is, is, I'll show you here in a second, this is the crystal wing. Now this is a very uh, cool little device. Um, the only thing is it only has like 8 uses, that's the bad part. But with the talisman of repair, you can just repair it, um, which is really, really, really nice. So we're going to make this uh, pretty simple little thing. I'm, I'm going to take it out of my hotbar so I don't press it. And I'm going to go in search of a desert so I can get some cactus. Um, I'm not going to show you this, but when I get to the desert, I'll be back. It's day number three. Still no luck with finding a desert. I've been all over the place. I'm over 2,500 meters from my home base. It's ridiculous how far I am. Oh my gosh. Is that... Oh my god, it's desert! Finally found a desert! Oh, hurry! Don't, don't die! Don't die! I have fought so many monsters, and yet survived, and to die now would be horrible. Okay. There's an ogre. Okay. How do we want to proceed? I say we just go and grab a few cactus. Then bury ourselves so that nothing can get to us. Oh my god, there's a... There's a creeper! Ah, oh, got it. Okay. Ah! Die! Okay. Okay. Let's get that. Let's get these. Okay. 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 Let's get a few more. Might as well while we're here. Don't want to run out. Oh, there's a wolf. Ah! No! 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 Okay. Okay. Ah! Surprise attack! Ha ha ha! Okay. This. Okay. Okay. Just a few more. I don't know. Oh. Oh. These little thingies. Get these. These are nice little flowers. I'll tell you about them later. Let's just grab them real quick. Okay. Okay. Any monsters? Let's just come up here and make sure there isn't anything around. Okay. So now's a good time to explain the uh, crystal wing. Basically, what the crystal wing does is, uh, when you activate it, it will take you straight to your spawn point, uh, no matter how far away you are from it. And uh, even if you're like clear at the bottom of bedrock, or, you know, or trapped inside of a dungeon, it it it, it uh it'll take you right back to your home base. So we're we're gonna try it out. Hopefully, hopefully we don't die. I I, I haven't tried this before. Oh God! Oh oh oh! We're back. The match. Magical winds brought you home. Yay! Oh my gosh, we're back. Alright guys, I'm gonna take care of these monsters. And then I'm, uh... I'll be back with you when I'm ready to make the, uh, the Luma stuff. Oh my god, I can't believe it works. It works! <laughs> Alright guys, so, uh... It's the next day. I've had a nice little sleep. You know, it's, it was three days since I slept, so I may, I may have been acting little unlike myself but I'm, I'm better now I'm better now I'm back to normal um, so we're, we're gonna make this Luma stuff so I'm just gonna cook up this cactus and it's gonna turn into some dye so while we do that we're just gonna you know grab some of the stuff that we need um, we need uh, uh, two pieces of glowstone two pieces of redstone uh, what else I don't, I don't know um, is there anything else that we need over here? I'm not sure actually. Let me just, let me just look. Uh, we're gonna make some green lamp. Okay, so we need some more red. So we need uh, two more red stuff. Let's, let's get that. Uh, glass is over there. Alright, so. Yeah, let's 
get us hold that. Cool. Just dump this into there. Okay, so we've got enough now. Um, so uh, we you gotta make these lumas first or loomer. I keep saying luma. I don't know why, but it's loomer, lumar maybe. I don't know. But it's pretty simple, just like this. So I'm just gonna. Uh, uh, you gotta make a few of these. The, each one of these makes two, but um, so each time you make one of those, it's one lamp. Um, but we need uh, more, so we're just gonna. There we go. We got we got our two green lamps, which is which is perfect. Uh, the other thing that we need. We quickly need to make a floppy disk. So uh, it, if you didn't catch that, it's a piece of paper and a piece of redstone. Pretty simple. Um, so now we've got no, our materials that uh, we needed in order to make our, um, in order to do our programming. So uh, we're just gonna stick these one right there and one right there. Cool. Uh, okay. So so everything's set up. Um, I'll be right back. Uh, there's something I gotta do real quick, um, but I'll be back to start helping uh, program all this. Sorry about that, guys, but I'm back. I had completely forgotten how to use the monitors. It just completely slipped my mind. So, but now we're we're back and we're ready to uh, we're ready to put this all together. All right. So uh, basically. What I'm going to do, uh, what I've decided that I'm going to do at least, um, uh, I'm going to kind of explain what I'm doing. Uh, I'll give like a, a, a brief explanation of what I'm going to do. And then uh, basically I'm going to write all the code, uh, get back to you, and show you all the code. Um, so I'm going to write a little bit, show you guys how to use it, then I'll be back when I'm ready. Yeah, haha. That was bugging me. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the floppy disk into the drive here. Uh, because I want to be able to save it. Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make this um, edit open. I'm going to, yeah. That's what I'm going to call it. So I'm going to save it real quick so that it's saved. Um, and this is going to be my password one. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the password thing. So the first thing you want to do. So you want to make sure that you explain to the computer what the password is. So I'm just going to make a technic uh, because it, it'll be easy to remember, and no one knows, no one else is on the server, so it doesn't really matter. Um, next, you want to okay. So next, the cables are coming out of the back of my computer, so I want to say um, that the side that I that I talk about when I write the code actually means the back of the computer um, and then when I talk about the monitor I want um, uh, mon no uh, let's not do mon let's do uh, screen is equal to top which is which is when I refer to the monitor I'll just type in screen um, yeah, and I think that's it. Uh, so that's pretty much it for that. So the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to do a, a clear of the screen um, and a um, a uh, what is it? Uh, peripheral dot wrap oop, dot wrap. Um, screen dot clear and what that will do is that will clear the monitors of the text that's on there uh, so that'll happen each time so once I do the clear uh, I'm gonna make it uh, uh, we'll make it do a question so uh, do a peripheral dot wrap screen dot write um, please 
Uh, let's do these. Enter the pass oh, password. All right. Uh, so let's save it and let's do open. And make sure. No, see it cuts it off. So what I have to do then uh, is come over here. Oop, I can't click it. I forgot. Come down here and at the end of the, the put a little thingy here. Space this down and do peripheral dot wrap uh, screen dot write password and then in between these two you need to make sure that you do a peripheral dot wrap screen dot set cursor position to the second line all right so let's save that and test it out oh oh what i do what did i do no oh, sec uh actually i think i think it does this sometimes it messes this up so, oh this clear sometimes messes it up so i'm just gonna peripheral oh put an h in there Oh, no! Ah. Shit. What the hell? It's the middle of the day. Why the hell is there a creeper blowing my shit up? Great. Just lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Alright, guys. That really... Oh, it blew up my light, too. One of my monitors. Alright, guys. Um... Damn it. Oh no, I still have the computer and I still have a monitor. Still have the floppy disk, even though I didn't actually save anything on it. Okay. Well, I'm going to sort this all out. And I'll be back when I've gotten to the point where I uh, just was. So that I don't have to do that all over again for you guys. Alright guys, so I patched this up and I'm back. Um, I'm just going to take off that death waypoint real quick and so what I've decided uh, I think it's gonna be safer to do this inside here um, so I'm gonna close doors uh, so I can show you how I do that uh, actually I have already shown you this I think but um oh whoops I forgot my Set bundled uh, output uh, what was it? back. Uh, oh, is that no? What do I do again? So oh, comma, comma, not period. Uh, and then I need, I think it was blue. So that's and. Oh shit, that's the wrong way. That's that's the wrong way. <laughs> I need to close, which so I need uh uh what is it sixteen uh three eight four. Now I'm gonna have to uh do some other stuff, but Okay. What? What? <sighs> Close. Oh, uh, it's because it's. Uh, I forgot about that. Okay. One sec. Because I messed up, I gotta re go back down here and. I went too far back. So I made it so I had to grab onto that torch. On both sides. Regrettably. Oh! Hey, buddy. Not so tough for ya. Right? Yeah, I have these torches here. I'm actually gonna place that one there because it'll be out of the way. Just in case that happens again, I'm gonna do it over here too. 
Uh, I have those torches. There's a, nothing spawns in there, obviously. Um, the Endermen can still get into there, which isn't that great, but oh well. Uh, so let's see. Do that now. That and that. There we go. Awesome. That. That. Awesome. So our doors are closed. Just gonna put a torch there. Put a torch. Put them all. There we go. Okay. So we have our disc in there, and it doesn't have anything saved to it. Uh, so I'm going to write the code because it just takes forever to write the code, and then I'll go through and explain it all to you. All right. So I'll be back once I wrote all this code. All right, guys, I'm back, and I have the door completely finished, along with the monitors up and running, all that stuff. I have the lights in. Everything is just ready, and I'm ready to show you guys what I all did. So um, as you can see here, it says, if you would like to leave, please type open into the computer. So you just go open. It goes, one moment, please. Please come back, and you just leave, and that's it. And then the doors will automatically close behind you after a five second timer has gone off. Just uh, let me take care of this guy so he doesn't come and attack me in a minute or so. Alright, uh, so then on here it says, if you'd like to enter, please type password into computer. So the password as, uh, we, uh, as I put in earlier was technic, and you can't see it um, because I made it so it would read the stores. So it goes, password correct, you know, the light turns on, it goes, it says, please come in, and you can just walk right on in. However, unlike the one on the inside, this thing has a little industri or a howler alarm on it. So if someone comes up and they try and guess my password and they guess, you know, Jedi, because my name's Jedi Fight Bad, uh, they get password incorrect sounding alarm, and the alarm goes off for five seconds, and then it resets. So as you can see, each time it does this, um, like when I put Technic in, uh, it clears the whole screen, writes the new thing, clears that, writes the new thing again, and then at the end, once the doors close and everything's done, see it's cleared it again, now that everything's done, it clears it and puts this back up, shuts the light off and everything. It's a pretty cool little feature uh, I decided to put in. And so I'll look... Uh, these are kind of the same, um, so we'll look at this one. So I hold down Control T, and it will terminate the program. And this allows you to look at um, look at things. So I have uh, the program on here, and it's called Startup. That way, it will automatically start up each time. Then on here, when I want to look at it, uh, it's called Password, and so I can go in here and look at it. Now here's all the things that um, uh, you need to understand and know how to do. Let's just check. Uh, so password, you put your password in. Then you these two things, the uh, side and the screen. Uh, what those things do is um, it relates to the back and the top of the computer. So the back of the computer is uh, related. Um, and each time I want to talk about the back, instead of typing quote back quote I just type side and same thing for the top only I use screen because I'm referring to the monitor or the screen alright so then what all these do all these uh, peripheral wraps uh, this one clears the screen just in case there was something on there um, even though it clears it at the end too but just in case then it sets the cursor to position 1 1 which is the top top right hand or right top left hand side of the computer screen um, and then it writes if you would like and then I ran out of space so I had to go down again set the cursor to the next line to enter please set the cursor to the next line the password set the uh, cursor down again into computer and then I didn't want anyone to be able to see what I was writing in just in case they're looking excuse me just in case they're looking on the computer just in case I mean obviously that's not gonna happen because there's no one else but this is just a good thing to know and and to be able to look at um, so you just do guess equals read 
and then in quotes you put the whatever you want it to to read i did the little asterisk symbol um okay so then you say if password equals guess so if the password i guess i should explain this when you say when you do this when you do the equal sign when guess equals read that means if the the guest is read then this is saying if the password is is the same as what the guess is so if your guess is what the read is so if, it, if they're the same then all this stuff happens it'll clear the screen set the cursor to position one and then write password correct then after doing those things well this kind of happens like almost instantly so after that it will send um, oh, it's getting night time out um, it will send a uh, or was I? It'll send bundled outputs, so it'll send it so the green line turn on, turns on, and the door will open. Then just the green line, then open just green light, and then it will say, "Please come in," because the door was fully open. So then I have sleep. Each time it sleeps, this is one second of sleep time. So this is five seconds of sleep time. So it'll stay open for five seconds. Uh, and then of course uh, I'll clear the screen again, and then this number is just to close it. And then this zero just means that there's no output at all. Uh, and then, so then this else means so that that completely opens and completely closes the door. That's all that does. Um, and turns on this light right here too. And then it does like the clears the screen, writes the new stuff, all that. And then else, so this this is just saying if what I type in isn't the password, then it will clear the screen, set the position of the cursor to one. Oh, it's just funny. Set a cursor to one. Write password. Set it to the next line. Incorrect because it doesn't all fit on one line with just two monitors. Um, then it'll set it to the next line and push sounding alarm. And then it will, right here as you see, set output. Now this doesn't take a bundled output. It just takes a redstone signal. So instead of putting set bundled output, you just set set output, and that's all it does. And then up at the top, um, I didn't set anything for the right side. So when I when I refer to the right side, I actually have to put quote right quote and then comma and then true. Let it go off for five seconds. So it'll alarm the alarm will go off for five seconds, and those words will be on there for five seconds. And then it will turn uh, off the alarm, uh, and then it will end. And then there's um, a few things that I added to the shutdown which is in here which isn't on here and that's just uh, at the end it it clears the screen again um, after this end and so whether you do this or this whether you do the if like whether you correctly put in the password or not it clears the screen and then reboots the computer so that's it so uh, I'll just get out of here uh, do reboot Re that that's just a program I wrote it's really simple I, I can actually show you real quick if you want I can just show edit reboot this is the this is the symbol for reboot OS dot reboot and then the quotes you have to have the quotes uh, so that's the only thing that it does um, and that's you just type in reboot then that's the name of it and it just reboots the thing and it reads it off the disk it, it searches wherever it can for a program that's called startup and I don't have it on the computer I deleted it so it's just on uh, the disk so I can take this out and then instead of hitting terminate well I can terminate and then if I'm you know type in and all this stuff da -da 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 -da, and I wanna just uh, and I wanna get back you know I can oops, shoot, it's this one no, it's this one. I can just go back and hit reboot, and it'll start up the program right away, and I don't have to worry about it. Um, so, yep. So, let's go in here, and let's just take a look at the program on the inside of here. Uh, so, let's do a terminate, and this one's just called oh, that one's just called open. So, we'll just do a open edit. Oh. <laughs> I did the wrong thing. Um, edit open. That's what I wanted. 
All right, so this one asks if you would like to leave, please type open into your computer. So all I did was said uh, the side is the side equals back and screen equals top, just like I, I did on the uh, outside. Uh, but on the the only thing I changed was uh, I made open the password. Uh, so it says here's all the stuff. If you would like next line to leave, please next line type open into next line the computer um, and then the, uh, I had to make this the guess you have to whenever you're doing a password thing you have to write this line but um, the only thing I did differently with this line is I didn't put the asterisk thing so whatever I type in you can see me typing in which is fine because all you have to do is hit open because once you're in obviously you can leave whenever you want um, so then this is if password equals, then it just says one moment please, it opens the door with these lines, uh, it says please come back, signifying that doors are open, sleeps for five seconds, so you, so you have time to walk out, plenty of time to walk out really, uh, and then the doors close back up, uh, and then it does, it shuts all the power off, so there's no output going out, and then ends that, and then uh, just a system reboot and that's all that it does it's pretty simple um, I don't really know what else I'm gonna do with these computers but uh, I hope to have something that I can do um, hopefully I'm not sure we'll, we'll figure something out at least um, maybe I'll uh, I don't know maybe I'll make like a little thing going down into my quarries for into my base if I if I decide to do that I'm not sure but uh, there's the uh, there's the programming that I use to open and close these doors. I've already shown you the wires. I've already shown you all that stuff. I showed you how to make everything. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I would be happy to respond. Um, if I get enough questions on a certain topic um, and you know it's kind of agreed about, then I can always um, I can always do a tutorial uh, just on computer craft. I can start up in a creative mode and do a tutorial, a very in-depth tutorial of me uh, opening and closing these doors, or I can make a door that goes up and down instead, or what, whatever it is. Um, I, I can take a look into doing that um, if it's needed. So thank you for watching this episode. Uh, I think I'm not I'm not sure uh, exactly. Uh, let me just look real quick. I think this is going to be yeah, episode 23. It's going to be semi-lengthy, sort of. I'm not, I'm not sure completely, but if you have liked this video, please uh, hit the like button. If you disliked it, uh, go ahead and hit dislike. That's fine with me. Uh, please do leave a comment uh, whether this helped or not. Um, whether you want a more in-depth tutorial, I'll be happy to, to do some more research and, and do that. If you have any ideas on uh, what I should do next with computer craft, because I really don't have any idea other than opening and closing a door, I don't really know uh, what what I can do with it um, that would be fun to put on my server. So if you could like, if you have an idea, just go ahead and stick that in the comment, and I'll try my best to uh, do that. Um, please favorite the video. Um, and share it. Uh, tell your friends about my videos if you can. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.